Good morning, YouTube. We do get to work in some beautiful spots. What's going on today? Abraham's out here underneath an uh, old Zoneworks tracking array. I think this was installed 12 years ago to pump some water. If you look over there, it's like a huge, huge dam. There's a nice little pond lake up there. There's another solar array. Um, they installed some Grunfoss pumps years ago and they've kind of run their course and they're wore out and so we're trying a different pumping technology we're going to use a franklin pump i think i've showed you uh, the flow sleeve combination here so what we have is a lot of water that ends up down here groundwater and it's being collected in these septic tanks oh i just saw a frog so there's water in there tons of water thousand gallon concrete tanks they uh invested a lot of time and effort this one is an ac pump and we're not going to mess with that today so our goal is to switch technologies we're going with a franklin photon system we have uh, flow sensors we're going to be mounting our controller out here on this this pole we've already got some pv but there were some problems we just have to change some of the wiring uh, th these pumps are three or four wire three phase pumps three phase motors Super heavy duty, lots of copper, really good. Franklin's known for their really long life motors. So, but this pump, one of the good things is the centrifugal pump can tolerate some dirty water. At least that's the plan. So both of these pumps will be put in to pump off of solar and using the existing infrastructure. So we're just making some changes and switching over from the Grunfoss controlled system to a Franklin system and because the PV is already run under here over to that um, tank we're just going to splice in and bring the PV to the controller there's some flow sensor wire limitations anyway if we were to do this p job from scratch we would have wired things a little differently but uh, we would have put the controller up under the pole like we usually do but this will work so, and then we have another one to do later on. So this is our first attempt at a, a photon from Franklin. I've been seeing them at SPI and Intersolar and uh, sales, the salesman from Franklin came and visited me and said, try this. So we do a lot of Grunfoss pumps, so it's uh, nice to change it up a little bit. And for this application of dirty water, I think this is a better thing. We do a lot of rotor pumps. Rotor pumps don't do well in these type of applications. So. We're gonna give it a shot. So I wanted to see this tracker flip. This is an old school zone works. Like I said, it uses refrigerant. When the refrigerant um, it heats up and it'll kick, it'll kick it back over here and reset. But it hasn't reset this morning, so I'm hoping it's working. It has worked for years and years. It's just been out here tracking and not pumping. So we hopefully I don't have to mess with that. I wanted to show you how it flips in the morning. It should be already in the sun and it's not, which makes me kind of nervous. So it, will, it just needs to warm up a little bit and start behaving. I'll try to capture the tracking, the reset, the morning reset here for you in a little bit. All right, the Zoneworks tracker is getting into position to get the most sun that it can get. So now once the solar cleared those trees, it started to work. A little bit better to me it was a little bit delayed in coming to a good position but I guess it's been out here working faithfully for about 15 years so she's she's definitely got a mind of her own so I'll just let it go anyway we're we got everything wired up over there now for what we need and uh, we've got to get that solar into our photon controller which is right here so this is the controller the controller can accept, obviously accept solar, PV. This is the pump four wire out because it's a three phase pump. Uh, we have a flow sensor coming in here. You can add all sorts of float switches, like if you're pumping to a cistern and you wanted a tank up and a tank down safety, you can do that. Uh, there's a lot of things, I, I don't want to say complexities, but things added so that the motor isn't just being, there's just not a lot of heat going to the motor. So once there's enough power, from the solar array, 
pump starts turning. But if there's not enough, the flow sensor, which I'll show you, which is actually built into that, will basically shut the pump off because there's not enough flow. Okay, so we'll go back through that. Mr. Abraham is mounting the uh, photon controller to this pole. It would have been nicer, again, if we could have put it under the, the tracker, but the way the wires were, we would have had to redo everything and the customer didn't want to go through all of that. So this is what we're doing. We'll build a little roof over it. So again, we're bringing high voltage, about 320, 330 volt DC to the controller. It's got a nice heat sink on the back of it, I noticed. Serious heat sink. So that's a good thing. And then we'll be, there are all sorts of adders. You can add a board on here so this thing can run off of AC. So in the future, I guess this is good because he did run AC power all the way down here from his house. So um, we could actually put the, there's an adder board for this. So at night you can run the pump off of, off of the grid if you want to. For right now, we're just gonna do, go with solar. We're looking at 30 to 32 gallons a minute is our goal. Okay, we've made our connections with the Photon controller, and we are doing a test here. We're moving. That's an inch and a quarter pipe, full, blasting away. Yeehaw! We like moving water, folks, with the sun. And there you go again. So she's pumping. See if you can get any pressure out of that, Abraham. See if it's... She moving water, ain't she, boss? Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. We bypassed the flow sensor right now just to, we wanted to prove that we are pumping water. Go little photon. Is it cold? Nice? Yeah, it is nice. And that's going through that flow sensor, so we're, we're moving. That's a lot of water. Yeah, that's moving through there. We could do a bucket check and figure out how many gallons a minute she's pumping right there. But okay. anyway, all right, we can go to lunch now. We got good news. One thing I don't like out here, there's no disconnect. We got a disconnect on the pole, but that's okay. It's always rewarding when you get a pump installation. You know, solar water pump is a lot dirtier job than regular solar, but uh, we like it. We enjoy it. This is very rewarding. So we need to put that up in the pond. And the pond is up there and there's piping put in a long time ago and so I don't know anything about it so I'm hoping it's clear we just shut her off victory let's go eat lunch all right this is what we're always waiting for so we're about uh, 50 feet above the source of water Franklin pump there was several pumps this is a four inch pipe but several pumps were piped plumbed into this four inch so that's doing exactly what she's supposed to do it's about 30 gallons a minute being dumped in this pretty nice very nice pond some geese over there oh yeah this is what we live for we work very hard but this always calms us down what a reward sweet that is awesome all right, that's what we wanted to see. We were worried about the pipes being clogged up because it's been sitting so long, and we flushed one out. It was so nasty. So there still might be some uh, residual, but that's not bad. That is great. That is great. All right, sun's been down for a while. We got pump number two in here. We got our ditch backfilled, and uh, we just ran out of daytime. We just ran out of sunlight. We uh, put a photon on this one, so we've switched everything over from Grunfoss to Franklin on this project. Kind neighbor gentleman just put the heavy lid back on a septic tank for us. He was uh, cutting this field today. Our other array is down there. He used to reset in the morning. The tracker tracked all day. We kept an eye on it. So that pump is pumping nicely into the well, into the pond. Uh, it's a beautiful spot, but we're running out of light. I'm running out of energy. Time to uh, go home. All right. Well, I'll probably be back to 
I'll do a final testing and because again like I said no more sunlight so I'm not able to see how many gallons per minute this pump is dumping in the lake but these two pumps will be running tomorrow all right engineer 775 signing out